I am Rhonda Dawson and Zechariah's mother. Megan Cow. Megan is his other sister and Tom is his dad. I'm Angela Randolph and this is my son Sam Randolph. Okay. Down Syndrome Awareness Day is on March 21st. It's a day to celebrate individuals with Down Syndrome and to learn more about their day-to-day -day lives. With some soap, I help you. Zek and Sam are two students at White County High School that have Down Syndrome and who are dearly loved by their peers and teachers. Zechariah is probably, well, he's my hero. He's the most spectacular human I've ever been blessed to encounter. He's very unique, he's very independent, he uh, loves hard, he, anything he does, he does with passion. He is the happiest kid you'll ever meet, uh, loves everybody, uh, just not a mean bone in his body. He's quiet until he gets to know you. He does not like surprises. <laughs> he loves to sing. Loves veggie tails. Oh my goodness. Um, he's just a good, joyful boy. He loves boy stuff. <laughs> Down syndrome occurs when a child is born with an extra 21st chromosome. Okay, you say it. Say it. planet. Good job. Did you find the planet? Those with Down syndrome experience many difficulties, including physical, intellectual, and communicative limitations. I guess I would have to say the biggest thing with him is communication. Um, he, just the receptive language and expression too. Um, once he knows what you want, he can totally do any anything. It's just um, his processing. Individuals who have Down syndrome are more like your typical kids than they are anything. You know, they like the same things that typical kids like. Um, so, and just because they have Down syndrome, they have more challenges, but they're more alike than they are different. I think it's the world's acceptance of him. You know, uh, communication is a big thing um, that, that we understand and people close to him understand, but I think it's the world's acceptance of his uniqueness. And, and I know oftentimes with special needs individuals, they are taught to adapt to our world and we are not trained or educated enough to adapt to their world. Here at White County High School, these boys have made two very special friends, Coach Beatty and Coach Dodgen. Coach Beatty and Coach Dodgen wanted to provide words of advice and encouragement for students wishing to build stronger relationships with Zek and Sam. You've got to find ways to interact with them, whether it be uh, through song or whether it be through Power Rangers or Veggie Tales or whatever it may be. You've got to find ways that, that relate to them. It's very important for them to realize that they are normal kids. They like normal things. Like he was talking about Power Rangers. Zek loves Power Rangers. Uh, Sam Veggie Tales. They're normal kids. You've got to be able to understand what they go through every day. And kids relating to that and, and helping them through those struggles is, is fantastic to watch. I mean, you know, normal things for us walking up and down stairs, that, that's a hard thing for, for Sam. And that's something that Sam has accomplished 100% through work and, and now he does it on his own. And, and it's just a fantastic thing and to watch the kids interact and help Sam at, to do those things is an amazing thing too. The coaches went on to provide more wisdom and to give encouragement to teachers that are working to implement inclusion in the classroom. And my suggestion would be find something that they can do within your classroom that will help you or the students. A good example right now is Zach in the drama play. No, he's not out doing a full-on skit and have to remember lines, but they gave him a job so he's able to participate in the class and he feels like he's a part of it and the kids see him being a part of it and it's very beneficial to you and the students. I am a loud instrument. The top of me is round. 
you tap me with I, th I think White County, uh, the teachers, the staff, the students have done a wonderful job. Um, I went to White County and uh, I, I know that there were special needs individuals, but the inclusion that y'all do here in the school system, integrating them into typical classes, um, making him a part of school functions, pep rallies. <laughs> really boosted his confidence. I know he worked a little bit with the coffee shop here. Um, that has really, he's come out of a shell, if that's even, if people can even imagine him being in one. Um, he's really blossomed in, in his interactions with people and in his confidence. So um, keep doing what you're doing. I think it's been great. What do you love about school? You like Culinary. Culinary. Yeah. And you like making recipes? Yeah, nacho, meatball, rice, go Nacho, meatballs, rice. You yeah, can do it all. Can kick it. He's a great cook. You know, I was talking to my girls this morning that we just, I feel like we live in such a great community. They already do such a great job of that. Nancy and Jill are, they're wonderful. I'm, gosh, I was worried when he was coming to the high school just because, you know, it's the high school. But, you know, I get text messages all day that what he's doing and how great he's doing or, you know, things that they're working with him on and it's just nice knowing that he is loved and taken care of and he's learning and they do a wonderful job. The kids here at YK High School are fantastic. I mean, I've been at three other schools before I came here and I've never seen groups of kids that, that work with Sam or Zach or Jeremy or any of those guys that are in that class and they they just take them in and they just treat them just like everybody else is treated at YK High School. One of the best ways to celebrate individuals with Down Syndrome is to be their friend. Peer mentorship programs are available here at WCHS. To learn more about being a peer tutor, contact Jill McCulley or Nancy Bittenfield.